Today we'll be installing a new toilet and we'll be fixing a flange that's setting too low. So come along, let's get to fixing. We have a flange that is setting too low in the floor. The tile work just got done. We're gonna be adding some of these spacers right here. Going to put those on with some silicone. He started to go a little bit too thin. What you want to do there is you want to go with a big thick bead of silicone and how you do that is actually pull it up off of the flange a little bit and then go around like this. All right. And you're going to get a much bigger bead around there. You want to do that on every ring that you're going to install. It kind of got stuck here on the lip of the tile. The tile actually had to be cut again. The, the dudes that put his tile in, they didn't do a great job around that. And then, of course, there's no wood on that right side of the flange. So <laughs> it's just this, it, it's things like this, right? So the toilet bolts are one way that this is going to hold together. And then we're going to shoot some brass screws in. These are solid brass wood screws. These are two inches long. And then now we are going to wipe off all that excess silicone that's on the inside there. You can see it. Use a rag if you need to. You can see that flange is completely secured. It's locked down, ain't going nowhere. And it's setting on the finished floor. Now we're ready for a wax ring. So with the wax ring, I like to just give it a little turn on the flange get it centered, push down just a little bit. And then I also like to take my finger and I like to wipe around the edge of this thing and just kind of smooth it all in place right there. Next, he's gonna take the toilet. We're gonna pop the toilet on. It definitely helps with these long bolts to act as a guide, right? So you can just get right down in there, make sure that that's centered you want to make sure that your toilet is going on flat and straight. Once you get it in there, now you're able to just give it a push straight down on. Goes all the way down to the floor. And we got to give a shout out to the contractor for making this bathroom so small that you can only use a round front toilet. It sucks. Now you want to add the toilet bolt cover, the washer, and the nut. A hollow shaft nut driver comes in real handy when doing this. You wanna switch sides. I like to alternate, tighten them both down, kinda of the same, make sure it's both all secure that way. Then use a mini hack, or if you have one of those cool little Milwaukee grinders, I think those are pretty awesome, one of these days. Until then, Tom 